Hi, me again, and some breaking news for you. I have uncovered evidence of the first millennial born with common sense. Watch on. Right, over to the sun, let's take a look at this story. I won one million quid on the lottery at 22. I wear clothes from Primark, shop at Asda, and our biggest treat is a monthly Toby Carvery. So this is the story of a bloke named Jamie. Now, Jamie was on his way to work, they stopped at a motorway services at half seven in the morning, and as it says here, I popped into the service station to get a drink, but Jamie picked up the wrong flavour of pop, so he left the queue, rejoining it behind another man who bought the same kind of scratch card he went on to purchase seconds later. I scratched it off in a lay-by and was stunned when it revealed I'd won a million pounds, he said. But I had the whole day of work ahead of me, and it was only 7.30am, so I wasn't going to go shouting about it. He kept it quiet from his colleagues, telling only his uncle and his wife-to-be. So imagine that was you, it's 7.30 in the morning, you've got a whole day ahead of you, you're sitting there having a can of coke in a lay-by, and you scratch off a card, find out you've won a million quid. I'll tell you what, there's not many people I know that would have gone to work that day. I tell you, madness. Let's read on. It was a couple of days before the money was cashed. Uncle Marrick said we could go wild with his credit card in the meantime, but we said no. We were never going to go mad. The couple did decide to buy a car each, a little Merc and a BMW X3. Danielle was still working as a receptionist at a garage as Jamie set up his own company, a roadside recovery service. We bought two properties too, he said, including a bungalow we live in, in Bournemouth. You just can't knock the guy, can you? It's just quality, absolute quality. Now where I come from, here in sunny Essex, you know, if someone at 22 won a million quid on a scratch card, they'd be driving around in a white Range Rover in Ibiza with a nose full of Columbia marching powder skint within a month. But this kid, head screwed on right, proper. See, I don't think a million quid is enough to retire on and not work again. So yeah, I mean, maybe if you're a slightly older person, that'd be more than enough, wouldn't it? But someone like myself, I couldn't retire today on a million quid. It just wouldn't last. I mean, a house, God, what's a house cost now? Let's have a look. Where I live down here in sunny Essex, let's take a look. That's not actually where I live, just so you know, but it's not far off it. Uh, well, we want a couple of bedrooms because I might want a home office or a kid or something. And I want a house, go. Yeah, look, two bedroom little house, 525. And if you're a lottery winner, you've got to buy something like that, haven't you? And even that look pretty average looking, 420. So let's say a bit of bargaining, nothing too flash. You pay three to 350 for your house. You've got to buy a couple of cars, haven't you? There's probably two of you, or you might want a, like a nice sports car for the weekend or something. So what are they, 30, 40, 50 grand each? Let's say 100 grand on cars. So you're in for, what, 450 to 500 grand by the time you've done everything and had a holiday. Is 500 grand gonna last you the rest of your life? It's not, is it? That's why this kid's absolute quality. He's bought a couple of properties. I bet he rents one out. Doesn't say here whether he does or not, but I bet it's a rental property. So he's got an income for life coming from that. You know, they've bought two cars, fair play. You gotta celebrate at a house they live in. Brilliant, what else does he say here? Yeah, after all, we still work, we bought a bungalow, and our biggest treat is a Toby Carvery once a month. I wouldn't have it any other way. So yeah, Jamie, if you're watching this, quality, mate, absolute quality, well done, and uh, you're going to have a good life, because you're sensible with money. Well played, mate, well played. What do you think? How would you live your life if you won a million quid on a scratch card? Would you go mad, or would you be sensible? Would you help your family out? Let me know in the comments below. We'll have a bit of a chat. I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.